first responder has identified cardiac arrest, called the code, and initiated chest compressions. The AED is powered on, pads are applied to the patient's chest, and we're following the voice prompts. Ventilations are in progress at a ratio of 30 compressions to two ventilations with a bag valve mask connected to high flow oxygen. An optimum team size for this type of event is four rescuers and one incident commander. The rescuers rotate the chest compressor every two minutes. The incident commander stays hands off, stands back and watches the big picture, watches the clock, follows the cardiac arrest checklist, and handles all radio communications. Be sure to clear the patient before delivering every shot. The suggested rescuer positions for this event are one rescuer doing chest compressions, one rescuer is on deck to do compressions next and operates the AED, one is on the head operating the oxygen, suction, bag valve mask, and airway, and one is handling logistics, including setting up the backboard, the toboggan and the rescuer's skis. I'm not going to move the patient until we get no shock advice. Okay. Use the AED's two minute analysis cycle to change compressors and perform any needed movements. Do not move the patient until you have received a no shock advised or until five shocks have been delivered. This should be 10 to 15 minutes into the code unless environmental conditions dictate otherwise. Be ready to move the patient once you receive a no-shock advised on an analysis cycle. At this point, the oxygen is switched to a non-rebreather mask for passive insufflation during transport with continuous chest compressions in progress. Expect that it will take one or two analysis cycles to package the patient in the toboggan. You must begin transport immediately after an AED analysis cycle and switch of compressors. The incident commander should refer to the checklist and select the strongest toboggan handler and tail roper available. Make sure to bring the rescuer's skis 
Make sure the AED is visible and strapped on top of the patient. Make sure the bag valve mask and suction are available and announce the location where you will stop, analyze, and shock and switch compressors. Choose the best route to the ambulance, aid room, or a location where you can perform CPR out of the public view. team will stop in advance of the AED's two-minute analysis cycle so the analysis can be completed while the toboggan is at rest and compressors can switch places. Yep. Deliver a shock if needed and resume transport as soon as possible after the shock has been delivered or the analysis cycle is complete. Upon arrival at the base area, Move the patient to shelter and out of the public view. Continue CPR and resume bag valve mask ventilations with 100% oxygen. Continue to analyze and shock as needed. Consider replacing the AED with another warm, fresh AED out of the ski lodge. Check your oxygen cylinder pressure and replace the oxygen cylinder and prepare for transfer to an ambulance crew. If at any point a pulse or return of spontaneous circulation occurs, consider air medical transport. 